Hey guys, MD Prepper here. Another gear review. Another lighting option that I just picked up just today from Bud K. This is the Mossy Oak Hunting LED Lantern that I picked up for about five bucks. A little less than that overall. Seems to be a decent pickup option for the cheap for five bucks. I think I recommend it so far. Have not used it a lot, just kind of messed around with it this evening and thought I'd do a bit on it. So, I may not carry this out in the field. Probably not. I might. It's a little bulky, a little big. I worry about cracking and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I'd say this is a great home option for home lighting and that type of stuff. I'd say it's more for aerial lighting and all that. On the cheap, with batteries, if you don't want to use flames and fire, candles, all that sort of thing. I think this is fun. Let me give you a close up of this thing up front. It's your mossy oak pattern all the way around with obviously the mossy oak on every section of this thing. So this is a bit of an advertisement for mossy oak, but I think it's fine. Plastic construction overall, lightweight, don't have the actual weight on this thing, but it's going to do the job, I think, for general purpose lighting in a very close area. If you're looking at maps or you know tying knots or whatever kind of local close in use you're going to be doing for this thing. So, let's talk, you know, top down here. All right, plasticized rubber top there with a little loop on the top. If you can see that there, you got the loop and the hook. So you could hook this over something or you can loop it in with some rope or whatever, do the job. It's a, it's a small loop overall, not tremendously strong. Uh, this is plastic. I don't know if you can see that, but it bends fairly easily. I kind of worry about that a little bit, overall durability and all that, but. For general purpose, if you're not using this thing too hard, I think it's going to be fine. Again, one of the reasons I think this should be used in the house or uh, power outages, that sort of thing. Got a button here on this side. Turn the thing on. There you go. On and off. Uh, this is run by LED lights. All of the LED lights on this thing are on the upper side of this light, which is a little unique, I think. Um, hopefully, you can see it here. You got three LEDs on a ridge there. Now I'm going to turn this thing on, you won't be able to see it, but there's three LEDs in the middle. There's two at the corners of each. So that's eight plus three, it's 11 LEDs. Don't know how long this thing's going to last, but being an LED is going to last for quite a long time, in my opinion. Runs on three triple A's, nope, sorry, three double A's, pardon me. Uh, it does come with three batteries active here in this thing, ready to go. Uh, they come protected with a little plastic shield, so if you don't actually utilize this thing, you don't have to worry about the batteries going down. So you got two there and one beyond that little triangle shape, if you will. Double A's. Does real well overall for lighting. There you go. Um, will not light the whole room up, but that's not what this thing's for. A small tent or a small room, something like that. Something local that you're working on close is what this thing's going to be best at, in my opinion. Let me go ahead and Turn the lights off here in a second just to show the overall lighting of this thing. So, there we go. We're on with 11 LEDs. Lights go off. There we go. Now, this isn't the best comparison overall, but I would say this thing puts out, on a countertop or a table, about a decent foot of lighting in a radius around this thing. You're going to be able to see what you're looking at, okay? I've got some old paperwork on uh, one on military camp stoves, all that. Let's put that down there. Now, you probably do not going to be able to see that on the video from where you're at, but I can read this clearly, and I'm about uh, eight, yeah, I'm probably 24 inches away. I'm about two feet away with my eyesight. I can see that easily. I can see the whole thing. Uh, fades out, but I can still read it at about three feet away. So, that's going to do the job. Now, as you raise this thing up, and this is not the best comparison, you're going to get better clearance for the room, but anything below it is going to be blocked because there's not any light on the bottom side. So this is something you want to keep, you know, close around. You want to be able to see the light that you're using on this thing. So if I was reading something, I'd want to put this at the top of it, like so, at the sides, you know, just wherever, so I can read what I want to. I can read anything I need to with this thing. I could tie knots. I could read a book. I could, you know, a guide, survival guide, something like that. This is going to do a great job overall with reading in a general environment and, of course, for basic prepping and stuff after hours. If I had to uh, fix up a trot line, something like that, this is going to do the job, okay? Again, I don't know the long-term lighting on this thing, 
but you see my hands and all that around here. That's perfectly decent lighting on the cheap for three AA batteries. Let me turn the light on here, get on with the review. There we go. Um, for five bucks, it's very decent. Very, very decent. You say, well, why wouldn't I want a flashlight? I can own a flashlight for about a buck or so, a Dollar Tree, somewhere like that. Yeah, you could. That's fine. But is it going to be is useful for reading and looking at maps, plotting your course, that type, just whatever? No, it's not. This is something like an old lantern you set up and you can read by. So, you want a flashlight? Buy a flashlight. Do you definitely need flashlights? Yeah, you do. But flashlights are for a point focus. This is for a general area. Uh, I would feel perfectly confident reading anything I need to with this thing. Again, five bucks. I think it's very reasonable. Could you pack it out in the wilderness? Could you put it in your pack? Of course you could. Now, I'd pick a flashlight first, but that's just me. Kind of big overall compared to a flashlight, in my opinion. I would say this is best for in-home use in a power outage. Again, one click button, it's on. No other power settings, anything like that. You could hang it up if you wanted to. I probably wouldn't. I, I just don't think that's that useful. I think this is better for putting on a tabletop and reading or doing whatever type of procedures you need to do. Um, tying, fishing line together, uh, again, like I said, trot lines, just any number of things. Just any kind of little close-in fire work you're going to need to do. This is going to do the job and provide darn good light for it. Like I said before, I don't know how long this thing's going to last on three double A's, but it's LEDs, so it's going to last quite a long time, I would expect. Very lightweight, don't have the weight on it. Again, like I said, I would save, save this thing for in-home use, personally. That's what I would use it for. Anyway, use it for, for whatever you want. Five bucks, very much worth the price. Don't know if the camouflage on the uh, lower part of that is worth a darn. It's more advertisement in my opinion, but whatever. Indie Prepper, out.